From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big midday here on LA with incredible great news on Home LA about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. With Joseph Biden saying he wants to send out all the incredible checks of the Build Back Better Act right away, including those automatic checks for adults that start at $2,000 a month. Wow, I have all the incredible great news in today's recording. We're going to go over that CR for Stimulus 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0 that have big updates as well. Then we'll go over the opportunity for the president to do SS200. It's 2.0 edition, and it's only on LLI. Then we'll be turning to the big exciting details of repurposing money. But you know what home LA and home stream stimulus is about. It's about beauty, decor, food, chocolate cake recipes, and it's also about the ingredients. And in today's recording, we get a little bit uh, saucy. We get a little bit saucy. And in this recording, we're going to go over the best sauces to bake with, cook with, stir fry with, everything you need to know. Sauces you never thought about in the cooking process. You like your poultry, you like your fish, you like your pork, your meat. I'm going to show you the sauces to make with, and the sauces are going to take you up a notch. All those incredible saucy stimulus elements are coming up in today's recording. And the excitement starts right here, right now, direct from Santa Monica, California, as sauciness... <laughs> Eats up your stimulus. Yeah, I think we couldn't go everywhere we can, and it starts right here, right now. And hey, how are you, everybody? Uh, the recon has passed, and that's what representatives has been sent to the Senate, but also sent to the Senate is CR for Stimulus 2.0, that the Senate Republicans say will merge with CR for Stimulus 3.0. Meantime, Senate Republicans are also working on CR for Stimulus 4.0 with the Democrats, a new element of bipartisan support. I have all the incredible details in today's recording. We're going to look at these multiple checks, automatic checks, adult checks, that Joseph Biden wants to go out, and third stimulus, the checks that have been paying right now, repeated under fourth stimulus, all those incredible details, plus the opportunity to repurposing sums of money and to get you SS200. Wow, we got a rate recording, and this, my friends, is Alalite. But I need your assistance. Go under the video right now and subscribe, because we're the number three most watched financial news channel in America, broadcast cable and the internet but i need you to bring us to number two hit that subscribe button to bring us from number three to number two like the video two three thousand likes and sign for those la alerts so you don't miss a video across the board if you're watching at noontime then you're what gonna see afternoons la coming up next and if you're watching in the evenings then coming up after this video is the hit evenings extra at eight o'clock and with that we're gonna go over the build back better act that passed in the house sent to the senate we're gonna look at those three clusters of checks and the three add-ons that pay a lot how much money oh my goodness it's a lot it is upwards of sixty thousand dollars of checks across three clusters and three add-ons we're gonna look at each of those right now no more no no less than fifteen thousand but upwards of sixty thousand let's look at the first of three clusters wow here we go in that first cluster we got in there hazard pay for my essential workers one more year four thousand dollars of elder care four thousand dollars of for care for young children the thirty six hundred dollars of the ctc got in there as well the 550 dollars check for the pell grant recipients the big money for home repairs and the twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the purchase of your first electric vehicle wow incredible now there's a lot of add-ons there's three add-ons in this incredible money of the build back better act and the first one is perhaps the most exciting so many viewers of this channel really love it and it is money to buy your first home oh my goodness you heard me right it comes from here in southern california from maxine water she got the provision in there of the house it's staying in there it's a little bit less than twenty five thousand dollars to buy your first home. Oh my goodness. Given from the seller, given to the seller for the federal government at the time of escrow, it's huge. That is the first of three add-ons. Now let's go to the 
second class search checks. Home repairs. This is to weatherize your home so that you can sustain natural disaster, which is every time that Mitch shows up wearing lobster shorts. <laughs> and paid leave. Wow. What is paid leave? This is if you have to stay home from work due to sickness or illness. W-2, 1099, you all get this money. But boy, is a lot of money. How much money is it? It is seventy thousand uh, dollars if you if you get if you make seventy thousand dollars or more per year. It is seventeen hundred dollars a week, thirty five thousand dollars annual salary, eight hundred dollars a week, fifteen thousand dollars annual salary, four hundred dollars a week. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. So yeah, this is about four to six thousand dollars a year. Now, if you don't work but your son and daughter does work, then they're going to get the check if they have to take off from work to take you to the doctor's office during the week. Wow, that is incredible. Which then teases up for the second add-on of checks comes with Bob Casey. And you know what it is. It is free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Incredible. $250 billion for seniors and people on disabilities. Got it in there. That's a second of three add-ons. Let, let's turn to the second cluster of checks. Seniors and free internet. Got it in there. What else is in this third cluster? It's true deliciousness. Free internet for all. Checks. Farmers, checks. Independent contractors, checks. Nutrition, checks. And then seniors, two checks on the house side. They got in there the Medica Medicaid gap fix checks and the hearing checks. Then the senators vow to add in their dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. Wow. That's par for the course of when we're talking about House versus Senate because the senators vow to add in there other checks, including... Jump in the live chat and write the three letters right now. If you know what they are, I bet you do. I just saw someone write it. M-S-C. It stands for Multiple Sugar-Free Chocolate Cake Recipes. <laughs> no, there's only one of them. <laughs> there's only one recipe. <laughs> M-S-C stands for Multiple Stimulus Checks. Wh who gets it? Where do you get it? How do you get it? Everything you need to know. Let's go over those details starting right now. M-S-C refers to monthly IRS stimulus checks automatic for adults, not for children necessarily. And this would have the same eligibility as a third stimulus check, says the legislators to tens of thousands of viewers of this channel since last spring. Who gets it? Let's go over the eligibility if you forgot who got a third stimulus check. The eligibility is the following. Single individual, 75000 or less annual income, you get it. Married couple, 150000 or less, you get it. Double it because there's two of you. Family four, quadruple it. And then if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, or Adult Dependents, you get it as well. This is not income. It's not taxable. It's not state by state. It's often on a nationwide basis and goes off the most recent tax return. So if that tax return had a direct deposit account, that's how you get paid. But how much? $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months, and there you go. Joseph Biden, through Andrew Bates, says he wants all the checks of the Build Back Better Act to go out as quickly as possible. And these, my friends, are automatic adult monthly checks starting at $2,000. So this is part of that equation as well. So then the next question is, how do we get these checks out the door, and why is CR for stimulus part of the equation? Let's go over all the details of that right now and the breaking news updates about CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. This is breaking news you're hearing for the first time on this recording, and it starts right now. Well, the Build Back Better Act is in the Senate, and to pass it in the Senate, they need to send a subcommittee, make the modifications, because they represent, they have a lot of modifications to make, in addition to MSC, set to floor, set it to the Senate floor for a vote, pass it, then a two-day voterama. But because they haven't done it, CR for Stimulus is heating up on this channel. One, two, three, and 4.0. What is CR for Stimulus? So let's go over the details of it, more about it later today on the other recordings. But CR for Stimulus, the idea is to put in a check into a small piece of legislation that's just a few hundred pages in length that has bipartisan support and get it out with an inherent deadline. Not undermining the Build Back Better Act, but using this other piece of legislation. I made history. This channel made history. The viewership of this channel made history. When I debuted CR for Stimulus in 2020, at the time we had seen 11 months of negotiation between Nancy and Steve Mnuchin on a second stimulus package that was thousands of pages length, no deal, no bill, no vote. And I said, we need something else. I found it a continuing resolution. What is a continuing resolution? 
every few months, every six to 12 months, the federal government must pass a continuing resolution to fund the federal government. I liked it because it was small, 100 pages length, goes by bipartisan support, has an inherent deadline, get it in there, done. So I made in my mind what was going to be the first recording and I prepared for the advocacy, I prepared for the criticism and I made that first recording in December 2020. I said to viewers of this channel, hey everybody, it's LA, I have an idea. It's called a CR for stimulus. If you're in the live chat right now, write the hashtag campaign. Inserting a check in a continuing resolution because it has an inherent deadline, it's right around the corner, it's small, and it goes by bipartisan. We did it. We advocated. As soon as we did, the criticism came on in. The criticism said it doesn't belong in there. It's a bill to fund the federal government. A check for the American people doesn't belong in there. I said, you're right. It doesn't belong in there. Doesn't mean we can't do it. And we pushed and we got it in there. And suddenly, it became law. The continuing resolutions detailed more later today on afternoons and evenings at light became law. The $600 check went out. And you got it. And guess what happened? Second stimulus never became anything. It fell apart. Never had a bill, never had a check, and never had a law. And thank goodness for CR for stimulus. Well, three weeks ago, I brought back on this channel. Do you want to do it again? 11 months of negotiations on the four stimulus we got? Yeah, viewers said yes. And we have. And boy, how it has changed heads again. One week after I brought CR for stimulus back on the channel, I said, you know what? We're going to support Bill back. We're going to support the four stimulus we got, but we're going to try to get this out the door first. And immediately, the House Democrats passed, in 24 hours after that, a CR for Stimulus 2.0. What's at issue? Well, the CR for Stimulus 2.0 passed out of the House says that we support the Build Back Better Act, but we need other pieces of economic legislation to go to the Senate. They passed it to deal with inflation and supply chain. Senate got it. And guess what the Senate Republicans said? They said that we're going to work hand-in-hand -hand with the Democrat colleagues to get CR for Stimulus 3.0 out of the Senate among Republicans, pass, and merge it with the House Democrats version out of the House, CR for Stimulus 2.0. Wow. That's the latest update on 2 and 3. What's the latest update on CR for Stimulus 1.0? Well, it, it is... Um, Four people who have the key for this one. <laughs> and what's that issue? Well, as, uh, as Democrats now say, if we have four lead Democrats featured on Afternoons and Evenings Ally today agree upon this price tag of the bill back of the CR, the continuing resolution, it'll get done this month. And if they get it done this month, we're ready to rock and roll. We get a certain check in there. If they don't, it rolls over. So you want to advocate to those senators featured on Afternoons and Evenings LA today to include that check in there and not roll it over another month. Finally, what's the update on CR for Stimulus 4.0? Wow, this is fascinating. So CR for Stimulus 4.0 heats up based upon the notion of the Russian sanctions. Well, the Russian sanctions bill is CR for Stimulus 4.0. The concept is, again, small piece of legislation, bipartisan support, quick inherent deadline. And <laughs> we thought two weeks ago this was going to be good passed. You do a sanctions bill before Russia invades Ukraine. And even though Russia's looking like maybe it's pulling a few people back as a fake withdrawal, which is not, Lindsey Graham... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Lindsey Graham, the voice of reason, when uh, just now <laughs> said, this is taking too long. You sanction Russia before they invade, not after they withdraw the troops. He's right. And this is why CR for Stimulus 4.0 is heating up. Meantime, does the president have other opportunities? He does. And that is SS200. SS200 can get done. And boy, you want to get done. And why? Two reasons, and one of the reasons you can see for the first time in this recording as well. Your benefits went up 5.9% in the month of December based upon COLA. It's a bad benchmark. It needs to be replaced. CR for SS200 replaces it with inflation, which currently is 7.5%. But here, I got better news for you right now. I've been telling you for over a year where inflation is going, and I've been telling you it ain't going down. I've been telling you that December last month's inflation, well, two months ago's inflation was going to be 8%, came at 7.5%. I told you all this last week, the week before that, that January 2022's inflation was not going to be any better. Well, guess what? Breaking news out today is that the producer price index number came in at 
Ready to breathe this one in? 9.7%. Ouch. Yeah, really hot. So inflation ain't settling down. And now a lot of reports out today and yesterday says that inflation may be at the end of this year, December 2022, 4.5%. So let's say it's just 4%. That means you're going to get another 4% on top of the 7.5%. So you could see your benefits go up 11% by the end of this year if Joe Biden does it. He needs to do it. Imagine your benefits going up 11%. That's a lot, folks. And that's just this year. Remember, inflation goes up every year. That's why he needs to do it. Finally, the president has the opportunity to repurpose money out the door. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely incredible. The president has the opportunity to repurpose existing sums of money and get it out the door, and the president should do it. Any programs that were established for COVID relief, for example, that have ended, but the monies are still there, all he has to do is repurpose that money, get it out the door. Joseph Biden needs to do it. It's as simple as that. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over to saucy stimulus. <laughs> can you add a little bit of sauce to your stimulus to make it more delicious? You can. And while we've covered chocolate cake and oatmeal raisin cookies and everything else, today in today's recording, we're going to cover another type of ingredient to the stimulus equation. It's sauces and how sauces can bring your poultry, your meats, and your fish to another level. And it's easier and breezier than you ever thought. You don't even have to know how to cook to do this. This is as simple as that. And it's pennies on the dollar. It's coming up in the second half of this video. It's home airline. It's home stream stimulus. And sauciness of the stimulus comes up in the second half. But first in the commercial break, jump in the live channel and write your favorite sauces you like to cook with. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now, direct from Santa Monica, California, as home and home stream stimulus continues its second half. Well, the Senate will be adding more checks in there and merging CR for stimulus 3.0 with 2.0. Joe Biden says he wants every check of the Build Back Better Act to go out across the board. You're going to see in today's afternoons and evenings recordings how the Democrats and House member and Republicans are working hand-in-hand hand in bipartisan support because they know the midterm elections are won based upon which one gives you money and which one deals with the economy. Those details are coming up in the second half of this video, uh, coming up later today on this channel, plus how to get thousands of dollars for third stimulus. Don't sit around and be a donut guy as one person just was on the live chat is now gone. Get the big sums of money and you're going to meet one viewer later today. Her name is Nisi. And you've seen her on this channel for over a year. She got thousands of dollars in the last 24 hours. She got twenty dollars to $30,000 from this channel by listening last year. She got another ten thousands, a couple thousands of dollars in the last few days. This is what viewers are getting every single day. Viewers are getting five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. And that's the mechanism of advocating 
pushing and listening and learning. So subscribe, go into this video and subscribe, hit that like button and away we go into sauces. What do you do if you can't cook? <laughs> What do you do if you can't cook? You bring in some sauce, and that's how we rock and roll. In this today's recording, we're going to go over the beauty of sauces in the cooking process. Now, I'm not talking about a sauce entree. I'm talking about bringing sauces in to someone who really can't cook. Let's make it very simple. I'm going to give you an example. You turn on the frying pan. You throw a pork chop in the frying pan. <laughs> Don't know how to cook? Just pour some sauce in there. You're done. What? Why have I never heard about this? <clears throat> Don't know how to cook fish? Just throw some fish in the frying pan. Throw in some sauce. Cook. You're done. <laughs> Wait a second. Chicken? I don't know how to cook chicken. Turn on the frying pan. Throw the chicken in. Brown a little bit. Throw some sauce. You're done. You mean, Lily, I have to do one step and I'm done? You have no idea how delicious your entree will be. They'll think you went to the Coden Blue, Muddle Blue Institute... <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. It's that easy. So where do you find these sauces? Okay, now let's step it back a notch. First, we're going to go over the notion of what's going on. And then we'll go over what type of sauces you buy. And then what type of sauces you don't buy. First, what are we looking at? We're looking at cooking your meats, your poultries, and your fishes. So pork, chops, uh, a, a, a thin flank steak, uh uh, 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 a, a, a chicken breast or chicken thigh or chicken leg. And we're talking about stuff as simple as turning on the frying pan, putting a little bit of olive oil in there so it doesn't burn, getting a little bit of the brown on, on, the, on the chicken thigh, flipping it, get a little bit more on the other side, and then ready to pour the sauce, turn over, put the, the top on and let it simmer and done. Really? Is that how easy cooking is? It's literally that easy. So, now that we understand what we're adding it to, what are the sauces? This is where you've never heard this before. We ain't buying chicken sauces. We ain't buying fish sauces. We ain't buying meat sauces. We're buying just generalized sauces that would have been made for something else. What? What are you talking about, Ally? Here's case in point. I found this once in a trip to New Orleans. If you live in New Orleans, you may see it in your supermarket stores. Uh, let me see if I can get in, into focus because it is hard to get this one in focus. Let me go in a little tighter. It's called Cajun powder. So if you live in New Orleans and you go into your Rouse, am I pronouncing it right? Rouses? Uh, you'll see it on the shelves. And this is seafood gumbo. Now, uh, if you don't live in New Orleans, you can get shipped. It's not expensive, but ain't cheap either. But boy, it goes a long way. Now, why does gumbo work on top of a pork chop? This is mind-blowing. The reason it works is because gumbo is spicy, gumbo is rich, and gumbo is dense. So, if you're in the supermarket and you see another gumbo sauce, it's going to work equally as well. Gumbo is thick, spicy, rich in flavor. So it don't matter which brand you're using or what manufacturer, this is Cajun powder, you can get another one and it's going to work. So this is the way you do it. The cooking process involves getting the item seared on at least both sides to start and then putting the sauce, covering it, low heat, simmer. So let's make that clear again. You first want the, the item to get that browning on both sides. Brown, just olive oil, throw on the on the frying pan. Brown it, olive oil, flip, olive, uh, brown a little bit again. Good. Okay, now it's ready to put in the sauce. Low heat, drop the heat now, cover, simmer, and you're done. Now, you do not want to add the sauce at the beginning. Wrong. It's gonna it's gonna work down the sauce. The sauce is added at the end of the process during the simmering during the simmering in, in indudation. You can also add to the sauce. This is what I like. Add some frozen peas. Delicious. Just frozen peas. Nothing but your generic frozen peas. Uh, you know, ninety nine cents a bag. Throw it on in there, into the frying pan. Cover and seal. A beautiful piece of chicken some gumbo sauce, some peas, simmering, you serve it, 
your kids are going to be like, Mom, when would you get such a great cook? Now, you want to bring it up a notch? You got some rice, throw in some rice into the sauce. You got some uh, pastina, some small little pieces of pasta, throw it into the sauce. And it is absolutely incredible. People next door will smell and say, what are you making? That smells incredible. This is how you cook with sauces. You can do it with pork chops. You can do it with your 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 uh, your chicken thigh, your chicken uh, your chicken a leg. You can also do it with your fishes. Now, fish is a little bit stranger, um, and you can also do it with your flank steaks. Um, we'll make sure that they're cooked thoroughly before adding the sauce. There you go. Again, which sauces work? Now, we're starting first in this recording with the gumbos. Here we have seafood gumbo. Sound weird that I'm telling you to put seafood gumbo on top of a pork chop. It's not that weird because the, the gumbo ingredients of a gumbo manufacturer is gumbo. And then they add the seafood to bring it to a seafood flavoring. So it's not so much that it's, it's, it's only the universe of seafood. It's a gumbo product that has a seafood flavoring. Uh, and the reason why I went with the seafood gumbo was because seafood is more savory as an item, and that's how to kick it up a notch. Now, what are other opportunities? Early on in another pre pre previous video, we talked about seasoning things, and this was featured in that video. I want to bring it back in because a lot of people asked about it then, and I think they will ask about it again today. This is called dipping sauce. Uh, I don't know if I can get it on into focus because it is really hard. See if I can get it focused there. Yeah. So this you get from Smart Final. If you're in Southern California, Smart Final covers it in the uh, Asian section or the international section. This is called Lee Cum Keys Panda Brand Dipping Soy Sauce. Purpose for sushi, pot stickers, and more. more. The reason I like this is it's zero everything. It's zero everything except salt. You know, it's of course gonna have sodium in there, but it is a um, it is used for pot stickers. So if you don't know, if you can't find this brand, look for anything that is an is a dipping sauce in your Asian section of the supermarket aisle, and look for those keywords like pot stickers or sushi because that is where it's basically saying, hey, we're gonna take something like sushi that's relatively can be sort of on the normal level, or take it up a notch. Pot stickers, you know, it, it can be sort of bland. It's taken it up a level. Very interesting across the board. Here's another thing. I cook with this morning, noon, and night. I just, yeah, it, uh, it's, just, it's just everywhere with me. <laughs> Sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes, not a sauce, but it has a uh, sauce helpfulness. Uh, it, it works the same motif. What's at issue? So sun-dried tomatoes, this is by Bella Sun Lucci. Bella Sun Lucci, this is very cheap. I think this is like $3 um, for your online retailers, um, the big box retailers that ships to you. Uh, sun-dried tomatoes, when, this is unopened, so you see it looks sort of liquidy, and then you have the tomatoes in there. Once you open it, immediately it dries out the oil. The oil dries out, which is fine. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to have this sort of, chunky dried up oil that's condensed around the sun-dried tomatoes. You're going to throw it in the frying pan at the very end of the process, very end of the process. And then the oil is going to melt and become liquid again. It's going to go from a solid to a liquid. You can't imagine the flavor it's bringing. It's insane because this was packaged and has basically marinated since the manufacturing process, since the, the shipping process. It's going to reignite. The, the heat is going to, in the pan is going to reignite it, melt it, and the flavor of that is insane. It's insane. Now, ironically, I throw this everywhere. I, I mean, there's almost no place you can't find, you can't put this in there. I can put this in salads. I can put this in dried uh, things that I'm serving on the table. I can put this anywhere. Um, I can put it in an omelet for breakfast, absolutely anywhere. The concept is much the same as what we're doing with our seafood gumbo. We're adding it late in the process. Now, because it is a, a smaller bottle and it's a smaller amount of product, obviously you aren't able to get it to water out, water down. Let me go over what watering down is. In the case of seafood gumbo, the, this is the bottle. And you're going to open the bottle and it's going to feel almost like a solid. It's going to be so dense. 
you don't want to cook that way with a solid. You want to add some water to the frying pan. You want to make it more uh, liquefied so that it sautés the pork chop. So you're going to pour it out and you're like, oh, it's really sort of dense. It feels like it's going to burn the frying pan. No, no, got to add water. Got to liquefy it down. Same thing you can do with the sun-dried tomatoes. It, you know, you're going to take out four or five sun-dried tomatoes and the hardened olive oil. You're like, okay, there ain't even a lot here. What do I do? You're going to water it down and then, uh, and then it's going to really take it up a notch. Now, what things don't work? What things don't work for uh, sauces? I'll go over that in a second, but let me jump in the live chat and see what sauces you like and your interaction across the board. What type of sauces do you like to use during the cooking process if you're using meat, chicken, fish, or any type of poultry across the board? Here's Anne. I love sun-dried tomato on my panini sandwich. Absolutely. Um, as Sandy says, it's difficult enough to get regular foods at any grocery store. Uh, the... The gumbos is is a harder product to get. I admit that. Sandy's absolutely right. The gumbo is a product you want to ship in. Uh, Sun-dried tomatoes, get it from Walmart. Get it from Walmart uh, online. S ships it in. Very, very, very cheap. A lot of these products, um, this is one of those products, sun-dried tomatoes. The price points are all over the place. This at your local supermarket could be, you know, $900. <laughs> And then shipped in, it could be $2. I mean, there's so some of these items have enormous price escalation. So absolutely. Here's Bob Bacon. I like any sauce with cheese and garlic in it. Oh, Bob, that sounds really good. <laughs> that sounds really good. Here's Rain Laval. Hint, if you have sauces that are too sweet, try adding a quarter to a half a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. Uh, Rain, your check is in the mail. <laughs> That's what I was about to get to. Balsamic vinegar. <laughs> uh, so Rain says, if you have if you have sauces that are too sweet, add a quarter to a half a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, and then a quarter to a half a tablespoon of lime juice, depending on the quantity of sauce. That'll balance out the sweetness. Wow, that's brilliant, Rain. Uh, she should have won an award for that. Uh, Rain, that is excellent. I think it was in yesterday's video when we were talking about the oatmeal raisin cookies. I said, you know, I keep that lime juice everywhere. I use it for everything. In Los Angeles' ethnic supermarkets, they have these lime juice bottles that are this big that are pure lime juice, 99 cents. You can't really find them anywhere else. 99 cents. And you can literally use them for everything. In your salads. Uh, in your cooking, in your baking, just it's it is real lime juice. It's a little bit on the sweet side. Um, so great advice from Rain Laval. Laval. Absolutely wonderful. Um, let's see some more of the comments in here. Uh, here is Trish. I did asmel roast in my crock pot and added just a little bit of onion to it, plus better than bouillon, about a quarter teaspoon uh, as salty, like the cubes are granulated, same, really good, made it gra gravy. <clears throat> Asma roast. Wow, that's great. Really wonderful. Sandy, uh, mustard. Uh, Sandy has a great comment. I used to cook um, in college. I used to bake my chickens in the frying pan, in, in, the, in, the, in the baking pan. I used to put, uh, after I breaded them, I used to put mustard around the edges. I don't do it as that often as I used to. It's great um, when the mustard uh, liquefies in the in the baking process, in the oven or roasting process. It, it, it gives great stuff across the board. Uh, Bob Bacon, what kind of sauce do you use when frying bologna? <laughs> I don't know, Bob. I would probably go on the spicy side, so I'd probably use the top of tea. That was all of the video, the, the hot sauces. Um, is the gumbo a spicy sauce, Sandy? Uh, it, it is... Not spicy like a hot sauce, so it it is not it is not it does have a little bit of a of a kick to it, but not spicy like a hot sauce. Um, it, it is a gumbo in that you'll feel a little bit of a a little bit of a heat to it. So yeah, you want to have a little bit of a heat to it because that is the flavor of gumbo. Otherwise, it's it just tastes sort of overwhelming. I thought gumbo was a flying elephant. This is Bob Bacon. <laughs> What if you only have a microwave? Oh, great comment from Bob. That's a great comment from Bob. So, um, you know, 
It depends on what you're doing. It, it, microwave for chicken, fish, or meat. I don't want to go there because I think I'm going to mess it up. Um, cooking a chicken or a meat or anything like that in the microwave is very dangerous. But if it's something that was pre-bought and uh, pre-cooked already, the chicken, and you could absolutely add it right to the microwave, you can just bring it up to a simmer, throw the frozen peas in there, you're ready to rock and roll. It's the same process. Simmering in the, in the oven, simmering in the microwave is the same as the frying pan. Absolutely. Uh, let me go into some of the other great comments. Make your honey mustard sauce. Oh, my God. Uh, someone Did someone just post a honey mustard sauce or was that mine? I don't remember what it was. Um, <clears throat> let's go over some of the other. I like Emerald Las, uh, Las Lagasse sauces, and Ooh, wonderful. Here's Don, uh, Donita. Uh, put a tablespoon of mayonnaise in biscuit dough and cornbread. <gasps> oh, Donita, that sounds amazing. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Uh, that sounds incredible. Um, let's see some more of the incredible comments. <laughs> this, this, this video is getting more savory by the minute. Um, <clears throat> uh, Lisa has a comment in there. Um, Lisa says, why are people saying that things are going out on the 18th? Says things are going out on the 18th. Um, <clears throat> it has been the tradition of, uh, of other YouTube channels to, to give you bizarre dates. And those bizarre dates are often taking an, an event, <clears throat> not explaining the event, and then going larger with the event. Here's an example of what they often do. They often say something like, um, if you missed your third stimulus check and IRS didn't know where you're located, your address was, IRS is sending out new checks on a particular day. I'm just using an example. And those new checks are going out uh, June 1st uh, for people that the IRS didn't know where you were. And so then people hear the date, but they don't hear the rest of the story. Or, or the channel doesn't want to tell you the whole rest of the story. Or they don't make it clear. So that, that's what's often the case. Moreover, you shouldn't be listening to other channels. There are no other channels that really do anything well except, um, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, do well except uh, press record. <laughs> So, this is the stimulus cooking show, says Dragon. Yeah, this is a saucy stimulus show. So there you go. <laughs> let's so uh, let's uh, let's go over some of the other stuff. Um, is this a stimulus show or a cooking one? This is uh, the first. Oh, Larry, great question. So if you ever watch this channel, Home L Eight and Home Stream Stimulus, the first half is stimulus. The first half, second half is 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 um home decor and also uh, food. So it's it's a mixture. So if you're jumping in the show late, uh, you can replay it for the first, uh, first 15, 10, 15 minutes of the show, all about stimulus. Let's go back into the comments. Um, Donita, minor biscuits are self-rising buttermilk, tablespoon mayo, try it, Harden, Hardy's KFC and Bojangles would be delicious, wow. And if you watch earlier shows of home, we did a whole one where we're talking about the spicy um, sauces. And I remember we had a lot of comments from Crayola was in here. Uh, Sandy had some people talked about all these items that come from different parts of the country, but that is where there is really great stuff across the board. Uh, saucy stim says Chamek, really great stuff. Uh, there we go. Uh, Lisa, who are you referring to? I, I gotta know what, what you're referring to. Uh, there, let's see some more of the stuff across the board. So let's go back into what was hysterical when the one viewer brought me to where I was leaving for after the comments. Balsamic vinegar. So this is a very controversial topic. Do you cook with balsamic vinegar or do you not? <clears throat> um, in the prior viewer's comment, she explained, I believe it was she, she, explained that she likes balsamic vinegar to even out an existing sauce that's either too salt, too sweet, or too bitter. That's great. I, I agree with her. But what about using balsamic vinegar as your cooking sauce and nothing else? Uh, I've never come to that comfort zone. <laughs> I've never come to the comfort zone. So here we have a con con here we have a controversial topic. If you're in the live chat right now, tell me yes or no. Do you cook with just balsamic vinegar for your meats, your poultry, your fishes, just balsamic vinegar, nothing else? Yes or no? 
I give a big no. I don't, I've never found comfort level in just using balsamic vinegar just by itself in the cooking process. Yeah, I use balsamic vinegar and everything else, but I'm talking about cooking, your meat, your poultry, your fishes. Yes or no? Uh, Timothy says no. Um, and then, and <laughs> some people are talking about something else. No, don't do that either. Uh, uh, <laughs> here is Charm Chemik. Yes, I would cook it with strawberries of balsamic um, forever. Uh, well, yeah, strawberries. But I'm talking about your meat, your poultry, your fishes. Do you cook with just the balsamic and nothing else? I just don't, um, <clears throat> I just don't think I can go there. Uh, thank you, Lisa. I appreciate the, uh, the nice comments. Um, Ann says no. Ann says no. I would not cook uh, that way. Let's see some more of the. I can't bear to pour sauce on a fish looking up at me. <laughs> so Bob, you cook, you, you, you wait, Bob, I don't, I don't get this. Bob says he's pouring a sauce on a fish looking up at him. So the, the fish needs to be dead, Bob, before you start to cook. And if you, if it's not dead, you need to turn the, turn the heat up higher. <laughs> Bob, if you're cooking a fish and the fish is still alive, the heat is a little bit too low. <laughs> Raymond, no, no, I put it on my sauerkraut, says Trish. <laughs> I'm not much of a cook anymore. Too hard to stand up very long. Oh, Sandy. Well, the good thing with the with this with this recipe is that it's very quick. You can put that pork chop in the in the frying pan, turn it on, pour the sauce, you're done, and sit down. So I, this is like a this is you know there's TV shows called this like five second recipe, you know four second recipe, absolutely. Dragon. Balsamic vinegar alone would take the taste of the food away. So ba ba Dragon says no. <clears throat> um, and so I think so far the consistency, the consistent message has been no. Balsamic vinegar, no. So to recap, if you join in the live into the chat late, let me go over the details. Your first name is Recon, the Build Back Better Act will pass as the President of the United States, and that all the checks in there he wants to go out as soon as possible. Those include the potential automatic checks for adults, the MSCs, which would be $2,000 a month starting at day one. But there's opportunities with CR for symbols 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. One is using the budget bill that has a late February deadline at the moment. You want them to keep it at that date. Advocate to Leahy, L-E-A-H-Y -E and Schumer, that they keep the continuing resolution on a February guide deadline, that they add a check in there, and that they do it just like they did in 2020. And then we've had your back for the... Build Back Better Act, you should have our back for this with the, with the continuing resolution. CR for Stimulus 2.0 and 3.0 is heating up because they are really right at the edge. The 2 is now in the Senate, and the 3 is starting in the Senate, and they say they want to merge the two together. The 4.0 is very strange. You can see me detail this a lot on Evenings LA if you miss Mornings LA as well. Lindsey Graham says the Russian sanctions has, should have already happened by now. The Russian sanction bill should have already happened by now. And as a Republican, he says, this should be done. This opportunity to insert a check in there also is really big across the board. Meantime, if you missed the Mornings LA show, I'm going to feature it again tonight on Evenings LA. I'm going to show you how the new inflationary numbers coming in show that inflation may go to 4% in December. 4% in December. Well, that would mean that with the SS200, you would get 7.5 or 8% now and then another 4%. Yes, 11% raise of your benefits in one year. All that deliciousness. Again, it was Cajun powder uh, out of New Orleans. It's It has its own website. This was out of Smart and Final in Southern California. Key Lum uh, Panda Brand Dipping Soy Sauce. Great for your soy sauces. This is from Walmart.com. Bella Sun Luchi. Sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, of the three items, this and the sushi, and the sushi sauce are the cheapest. And then also uh, your balsamic vinegar. They're all about the same across the board. Thank you for your incredible comments in today's chat. And stay with this video. It'll automatically take you to either Afternoons at LA if you're watching at 11 o'clock or Evenings Extra at 8 o'clock. And with that, I want you part of this incredible family. So subscribe. Like the video, 2 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Have a beautiful day. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay LA for more.